Thank you, and uh, welcome to everyone, and uh, thank you for your patience. I know how frustrating it can be trying to uh, get all hooked up and get your audio um, in sync, but welcome to this webinar on method verification or validation or just semantics. And the reason I chose this title is because there a lot of times I hear people use the terms verification and validation interchangeably, and I would like to, based upon my new years of experience and understanding with lab accreditation issues, try and address what are the similarities and differences between method verification and validation and why you need to be aware of what these are in your terminology. So I would like to define and differentiate what these are, what the terms mean. And then I want to also consider the requirements for method validation and the expectation for in-house verification from an ISO 17025 perspective. Those of you who may be accredited already to 17025 or are thinking about it, uh, will realize that ISO does have requirements for method validation and for method verification. They make a distinction, but it's not very clear. And so I'm going to try and put it as, I, as much as I can in understandable terms. I'd also like to use my experience with the uh, AOAC uh, International uh, Official Methods of Analysis and Research Institute, Institute Validation Protocols, and I'm only going to use those to show you uh, some of the more complex issues associated with method validation that you may not be aware of and maybe going to get a better appreciation for why it's important to make the distinction between validation and verification. But the other thing I'd like to do is to outline the requirements for a verification protocol that defines a method's fitness for purpose. That is to give you some idea of what you should be able to do or doing in order to establish that uh, a verification pro procedure for your lab, for the method you're trying to adopt. So the first question, of course, is what is test method validation? And a lot of these um, I have taken um, presenter's privilege, if you will, to try and put them into the language that I can understand that I hope you will also. Validation is the establishment of one or more performance characteristics of the test method. And this can be done by single lab validation or by multi-lab collaborative study where many labs are involved. So it's the establishment of performance characteristics. Now you may say to yourself, well, what the heck is a performance characteristic? And why is it important?